From here we're looking at the frontage of Williamson's house. Not very pretty, but that's all we have left of what he built above ground. And now we're looking down into the basement kitchen. Massive kitchen with a sunken backyard behind it, which uh, was below Williamson's three-storey Georgian house. I'm going to take you down to have a little look around that now. We go down these stairs, stone staircase that we uncovered back in 2016-17 and we excavated all of this area out which had been completely lost, buried, back filled with rubble, concreted over back in the 1930s, possibly never to have been seen again unless we had managed to uh, unearth it. So there we have Lovely kitchen with this set of four cooking ranges and a stone slab floor. Massive stone slabs. Looking back towards the where we came in. The two lovely brick arches side by side where the entrance to the wine bins area lies through there. Another look at these ranges. We found nothing in this one, so we don't know what was there. This one we think held a circular cooking pot, iron or brass or something like that. This one appears to be a griddle with a fireplace below it. And then the fourth one has some quite intricate uh, cooking system, but most of it is destroyed so. We can't tell exactly what it was. We discovered this rather nice stone sink as well. It was smashed into three or four pieces and we found most of them on the floor in amongst all the rubble that we unearthed. But they weren't too badly damaged so we reinstated it back on its pedestal exactly where it had been in Williamson's day. Lovely stone skirting boards all the way around this kitchen. Very unusual. And then a window at the back of the house, followed by a bay window looking out onto a sunken backyard. Quite an unusual arrangement. But that's Williamson for you. He didn't do anything ordinary. So we're going to go around the corner now and step into the backyard. And we can see the bay window from the outside. Williamson's house was a three-storey three Georgian house with basements, so that's four storeys of bay window we would have been looking at if it was still intact. Would have been quite impressive, I think. Now something a bit unusual for you that you probably wouldn't be expecting to see in here. This is a set of four urinals in this little room. Absolutely nothing to do with Joseph Williamson. They were probably installed from the 1850s <coughs> or 1860s onwards when uh, the Williamson properties were occupied by the Territorial Army and they would have built these for the squaddies. Uh, got quite a surprise when we unearthed these when we were digging this area out. And another lovely arch there. He loved his arches. We excavated all of this out. Lots and lots of big rocks in there. <coughs> and then we rediscovered the original way that led down to the sandstone chamber below and then on to the banqueting hall through the gash. And this is where the entrance is that we've reinstated. It would have been the way down in Williamson's day from inside this arch. And um, just to help you get your bearings, I'm looking along the line of the gash which lies below us and leads from the sandstone chamber down to the banqueting hall. And if we just walk back in this direction, <coughs> from the window here onwards towards the front of the house 
and Mason Street. Below this floor lies the banqueting hall, about 60 feet long. Directly below this floor, and uh, it goes down about 30 feet in the ground. So that is the rest of the basement area of Williamson's house.